Welcome to Newfoundland! By taking the night ferry, we arrived fresh on the shores of Newfoundland, rested and ready to explore. We were met with this moody Newfoundland morning, which just added to the beauty and the feeling as we drove and hiked our first roads and paths on this incredible island. This was day one on what was to become one of our favorite trips of all time. <laughs> the views. Like the perfect welcome to Newfoundland. Absolutely. Grizzly rain and fog. Cable's a kid. <laughs> I can do a lot of cool things. <laughs> Good job, Jan. <laughs> So we were just learned that, well, I just learned now, the clover is edible and it's lovely clover out here. I feel like there's no pesticides or dog pee. I picked it far from the path. It's actually tasty. So I never knew. Things you learn in Newfoundland. Okay, we're on this amazing little hike. I think it's like a 6k hike and we have all of these little i don't know, call them hidden beaches but it just looks so beautiful look at all that beautiful sand and rock and the islands in the background and the fog this is like a true newfoundland experience <laughs> i know loving and it's it so moody today awesome about half an hour and we're at Caudroy Provincial Park yep. so we're just here we actually have the ocean on one side a bay on the other this Beautiful. really cool bridge it's absolutely gorgeous and we're going out to the most western point as one of our first stops here in Newfoundland so we hope you're gonna have fun we have a misty moody morning it's great it's fantastic it is and we're super excited so uh, let's keep going let's go all right we're headed out to the most westerly point in Newfoundland now it's what was it point, point Aguil? or Cape no point Cape and Anguille we'll put it we'll put it right here for you <laughs> not sure how to say that Good morning. morning. <laughs> we are at uh, the most epic boondocking spot ever. Yeah, we've been to many and this is sensational. Like, like, wow, we, like we pinch ourselves that we get this spot. 
Well, actually, it wasn't even a plan to come here. Yeah. We talked to a guy at a brewery. He told us about this spot that was 20 minutes down the road. And we didn't even do footage from the brewery. We were just stopped to have a yeah. break and a little beer and figure out where we wanted to go. And it was like the universe gave us, there was one other guy in the whole place besides the staff. And yep. he told us to come here and Thank you, stranger. Uh, that was amazing. Anyway, extremely memorable, yep. but uh, we have lots more of Newfoundland to see, so we're headed for the day. We're taking a little trip down to Sandbanks. It's the only time we'll actually be sort of on the south coast, except for when we're uh, at ferry terminals. So yep. I'm excited for the sights we're gonna see today. And the we woke up to a beautiful morning. The clouds are rolling in now, so hopefully we have a decent drive. Yep. It's about three hours. And uh, we're all getting packed up here and ready to go. All right, let's go. Bye. The road to Sandbanks is not perfect, but the scenery and landscape is some of the most unique we've seen on our travels. Folks, we're here at Sandbanks Provincial Park in Newfoundland and we're on a hike right now. I think it might be a five or a six kilometer hike and we're hoping to see the beach and the ocean and uh, we want to take you along. Well, typical Newfoundland, we're on this beautiful hike. We can kind of make out some islands and beaches and beautiful views, but it's very foggy. Wow, if you're ever here, I don't know what this loop is called. We'll try to figure it out, maybe leave a little description of what it is because this lookout would be fantastic Amazing, on sure. a clear day. Highly recommend. <laughs> Hey guys, we are at Sandbanks Provincial Park in Newfoundland and we weren't sure we were actually we would not have done this because it's quite a drive to get here and we're going to show you all of that. The road is less than favorable for sure. However, we saw landscapes like you've never seen before and now that we're here, it is a cloudy, foggy, moody evening out here on the beach. But like check out these rock cliffs behind me. We've been walking on a trail. It's a 5k loop that we're doing and we're now down here on the beach. This, so we're on the south shore and there's not a lot of places that you do tend to visit on the south shore. Um, I don't know the terrain of Newfoundland, but that's just the way it is. This road is like two hours in and two hours for us to get back out. Um, but so far actually totally worth it. I would maybe say spend a couple days here to make it even more worthwhile. We are out of here tomorrow, that's why we're here. But this beach is gorgeous and it is true sand. It is like Florida, Caribbean, you know, that all-inclusive sand beach here in Newfoundland. I'm gonna test the water. I did want to swim here, but not tonight, but I'm gonna try. You know what, it's not that bad. I thought it would be colder, but... So maybe, there might still be a cool dip. Anyway, we're gonna continue. We're going out to Fox Point. Um, the views aren't what we would like, but that's what you get in Newfoundland and it's still amazing. It was a long drive to get here, like Jan mentioned earlier, but definitely, definitely worth it. This beach is like pure rugged, beautiful sand with a cliff of sand dunes. It's like, and then the rock. Look at all the rock right there. <laughs> this beach is so long, we can't even see the end of it in the fog today. So we're 
out here now on the main beach. What we just went to was the Point of Beaches, is what it's called. And we're just finishing our hiking loop now, which ends on the main beach, which if you do come here, you see as soon as you drive in on your left, it's got picnic tables. It is a huge sand beach as well. Very similar to the others, just a lot closer to the camping spots. You don't know when you're booking and you don't know how amazing some place is gonna be. And this is a bit of a drive in and back out because you have to take the same road. We probably, like we would have loved to stay here two or three days and just explore and explore the town. And it's absolutely stunning. It is stunningly beautiful, like epic Newfoundland out here. So that would be our recommendation. Right? Hello. Absolutely. Like so gorgeous. Like Newfoundland, like has my heart. This is simply amazing. And it's day two. <laughs> highly recommend like wow yeah i think um we have to go and get some supper tonight so we're gonna go do that but tomorrow we want to be up early if it's nice we will try to get to a hike and see something have you mentioned where we're going gross morn yep. national park yeah so anyway but for tonight let's go have some dinner and hopefully we'll get you some amazing views tomorrow and it'll be a little bit clearer all right ciao for now bye Cold dip is good. Woo. Okay, well we are driving out of Sandbanks currently. Unfortunately, we had a super foggy morning as you could see when I had my uh, cool dip. <laughs> it was so foggy by the coast. We couldn't get the drone up. We couldn't really see the sights, but we've uh, learned a lesson that we're gonna pass on and that is, if you arrive somewhere in Newfoundland and you can go on a hike and you can see beautiful views, go and take your pictures, go and take that hike and get up to the viewpoints because man, the fog can roll in quickly and without notice. <laughs> but do be warned if you are going down to Sandbanks, it is a one road in and one road out. The road is not great most of the way and you are playing a game of dodge the pothole or dodge the missing whole section side of the road. <laughs> um, so it's a slower drive. It's gonna take you a little longer than the GPS says, and you have to be on high alert for moose. We saw one yesterday, didn't get it on camera because he was running along the highway and dove into the bush before we could film him. But another danger always when you're driving around in Newfoundland. All I can say, I can't say enough, Newfoundland is checking all of the boxes right now and I was super excited to come here and I'm like this is amazing. This is still just the beginning of our trip so anyway we hope you enjoyed this episode of the beginning of our Newfoundland adventure and you keep following along. We are headed to Gross Morn today so that that has just been on a bucket list for a long time. It's the epic shots, the iconic views and hikes. So we're super excited. If you like this one, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, so you can follow along on the rest of the Newfoundland adventures and beyond. So for now, we'll see you in Gross Morn. See ya. Cheers. Cheers. Be free.